Hey learners, welcome back to Learn with Mike, where science is simple, fun, and all around us. Today, we're diving into one of the most exciting parts of science, the study of life itself. That's right, we're talking about biology. Whether you're a curious kid, a homeschooling parent, or just someone who loves learning, this one's for you. Let's explore the amazing world of living things together. So what is biology, really? Biology is the science of life, from tiny bacteria to huge elephants, and even you. The word biology comes from two Greek words, bios meaning life, and logos meaning study or knowledge. So biology simply means the study of life. And trust me, life comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Let's take a closer look. First up, plants. Plants are living things that use sunlight, water, and air to make their own food. This process is called photosynthesis. They grow in the ground, in water, and even in the air. From big trees to tiny flowers and seaweed, plants come in many forms, and all of them are super important to life on Earth. Now, let's talk about something microscopic. Bacteria. These are tiny, single-celled organisms you can only see under a microscope. Some bacteria make their own food from sunlight, just like plants, while others eat sugars, proteins, and fats. They come in all shapes, round, caucus, rod-shaped, bacillus, and in fun colors, too. Examples include lactobacillus, E. coli, cyanobacteria, and even salmonella. Some are helpful, and some can make you sick. So, they're small, but super powerful. Next up, fungi. Yes, that includes mushrooms. Fungi aren't plants or animals. They're a special group that don't make their own food. Instead, they break down dead things and recycle nutrients back into the soil. They're the reason your compost breaks down, and your bread might grow mold. Fungi include mushrooms, yeast, and mold and they come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Animals are one of the most diverse life forms on Earth. They live everywhere in jungles, oceans, deserts, even your home. Animals can move, breathe, eat, and reproduce. Some eat plants, others eat meat, and some eat both. Animals come in many groups. Mammals, like humans, dogs, and elephants. Reptiles, like snakes and lizards. Birds, like eagles and penguins. Fish, like sharks and seahorses. And we can't forget about insects. Insects are the most common animals on Earth. There are over 10 million species of insects that's more than any other animal group. They include butterflies, bees, ants, beetles, and mosquitoes. Insects can fly, crawl, bite, buzz, and pollinate. They're small, but their role in nature is huge. Let's clear up something cool, literally. Animals can be either warm-blooded or cold-blooded. Warm-blooded animals, like mammals and birds, keep a steady body temperature no matter the weather, but they need more food and energy. Cold-blooded animals, like reptiles, fish, and insects, let their body temperature change with the environment. That's why a snake might be sleepy in the cold. Now, let's talk about why biology is so awesome. Biology helps us understand the amazing variety of life all around us. From a towering oak tree to a buzzing bee, everything alive is part of biology. It teaches us how living things grow, survive, and work together in ecosystems. And guess what? The more you learn about life, the more amazing the world starts to look. That's it for today's biology adventure, but this is just the beginning. In the next video, we'll explore the history of biology and how scientists learned all this cool stuff. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more fun lessons with me, Mike, and tell us in the comments, what's your favorite living thing? Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.